Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marie! Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Don't think this is over, Roderick! The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. Brit was the killer, and worse. He got what was coming to him. And you made sure he got it, didn't you? Threw him clear off the wall. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Finn was only there at the very end. You had your say. Actually, I was there the whole time. Oh. Then tell us. It wasn't Garrett's fault. We were on watch when Brit just attacked him. Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... 
for some reason I can't fathom. That's impossible. Finn can't stand me. Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Crossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. I know I did the right thing. That's all that matters. What Brit did to your family, anyone would want him dead. But now you'll have to face the consequences. But John... I'm sorry, Garrett. There's nothing more I can do. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Seems even your mother's abandoned you. Won't be alone for long, though. The Axeman will find you soon enough. How many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them, covered in dirt. Shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asher. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. Will that be a problem? My friend has the burns to prove it. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this, Your Grace. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? 
You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude. What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please, if I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want to. If you really believe that, you'll understand why I cannot help you. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asher? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. I told you we didn't want to go back to Marine. What the hell was that? Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Beska. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss pocket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you prefer if Roderick stay down in the mud. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. 
but you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Almost. Again. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We're to be married. You'll be calling Ironrath home soon. Yes, well, um... That's why I came, actually. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. I have to decide what's best for my house. I know that. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. 
Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention Cersei and Jaime. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud White Hill. Lud White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Over honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. No one out there. Oh, this one looks loose. doing it? I heard him talking. He had to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. 
Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Just keep watch. Make sure no one comes by. I'll see what I can do from in here. Right. I can't move it. Won't budge. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Just sand. Oh, locked. Pulling on it won't help. Serious door. We're not going through it. What are you gonna do? Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Might be useful. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. 
thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Ah, oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. I need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move! There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. He's gonna see what happens when you harm a member of my family. And mine. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. Harder for a fox, then. My lord, 
please. No. I am the only lord who matters here. Roderick. Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me. You? I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Don't believe you. <laughs> You'll pay for this in blood. <laughs> Still the old cocky Roderick, eh? Trying to show Elena that you'll never back down. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. Actually, I think it's your turn. I don't think so, Roderick. <laughs> God, fucking, you're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the lump! What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders! Kill anyone that moves! You heard him! Down. You can't do this. Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own fucking family! Shut your bloody mouth, Griff! You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will... <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! You need to stop. My eye! Roderick! Roderick! No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff... Ryan will be the one to suffer. Lord Vital doesn't have to find out. You can only keep this a secret for so long. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Least I could do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the Ravens. All of them. <laughs>